Hello everybody, I'm Jeremy with Aerosport, the US distributor for the Bushcat. Uh, today I want to show you how to do a um, door frame and door install on a Bushcat. Uh, everybody says uh, it's a difficult spot. It is a difficult spot in the build to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I kind of jumped the gun here a little bit, but uh, the first thing you're going to do is make a little notch in the back so that this piece of the cabin sits nice and flush up against this tube before it had that notch here. So it pushes out a little bit. Now it's nice and flush. Once I'm done with that, I throw painter's tape here, 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 and here. Roughly here and here is gonna be my door latch cat catch. But when I'm setting the door in position and frame, I don't wanna scratch any of the paint. So now that we've done that, we're gonna to move to the next step, which would be mounting the door on the frame itself. Okay, so up next I have the door frame itself. So I usually uh, measure about 25 inches apart. So I have them kind of evenly spaced here right before the, the edge points. And you're gonna mount this in place. Now it gets mounted in place, I always say hinge backwards, but it's flat side out. Hinge part on the inside. You're mounting it here and then with the spacer in between. So when you mount it and rivet it with the washer on the back side, this is what it's gonna look like on the back side. And then of course, on the inside, you have your, your spacer bar, which is in between. That's all set like that. And then I just throw the, the hinges back in and I'm ready to mount the door to the hinge before I even hang it on the airplane. So next, you come inside. This is where it entails a couple people. I usually like to have three people. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set this in place. Let's slide it out here just a little bit. And I know it's just two of us right now, but I already pre-drilled my holes before I decided I was gonna make this video. So what we're doing is now we're setting it in place so there's an even gap all the way around the door. Then you can go ahead and lay your hinges down and mark your holes. So this one here, I already drilled these holes, but your hole, the holes are in place. I gotta drill these yet, but right now I'm just setting these in place. And I do one at a time, because if you mess up, you don't wanna have to redo the whole thing. So once it's up, my holes are drilled with the drill. On the back side, now you need to basically uh, use a little bigger bit and take out some. So when the rivet goes through with the washer, it's gonna sit nice and flush against this door frame. Okay, so we're back in here real quick. So I messed up earlier and I told you 25 inches. It's 25 centimeters. So that's what it was on the hinges. I'm so used to inches and I know I shouldn't be, but uh, everything is metric and centimeters on this. So uh, it's 25 centimeters is my gap between the hinge. Gotta love the sound of air. Extra. So Hold on, time out. Time out. let's pull this out just a little bit. And as you saw, I have my holes already drilled for this. So that's how that's gonna sit just like that with my, my rivet going through. Once my rivet goes through, I'll put a washer on the back side. But what I wanna do is just test this one spot right now because I can pull the pin and that hinge will stay with the door so I can move to the next one. So let's lift this up. And what I mean by making it a bit bigger with a bigger deeper with a bigger bit is because you got to recess this rivet and washer so it almost pretty much sits flush. Smooth side, okay. hinge side, and then behind here is the spacer bar. You can see that spacer bar right there. What that's gonna do is give you that gap. So as you can see right now with that door in there, see how you have a gap between the hinge and the door and the door itself. See there's that gap, that's gonna be there for the door. So as we're working on this, what I wanna do is recess my holes and sorry for all the noise out there. You can hear those airplanes going. That's actually the Aerostar is practicing. Um, I believe they have a couple air shows coming up this year. 
uh, one down in Sun and Fun, so I think they're going there. So um, I love hearing the Aero Stars out there all the time. So Aero Stars, great job. So what we want to do is take a bigger bit and go into that hole that we drilled through and ream it out just a little bit. But don't push and don't go fast. It's a slow process and just kind of turn a little bit. If you have a, um, a recess bit, that would probably be best. Um, I like to use a Hold on, hold on. So what we're gonna do is I like to use a bigger bit and we're just gonna go nice and slow and just kind of ream the hole a little bit. Now, if you go press too hard or... <laughs> You press too hard or go too fast you can actually end up drilling right through the door not that that ever has happened to me maybe once um, it could cause big problems so just a nice easy drill just a little bit and you're just setting your your depth you go each one a little bit of depth. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna put the door in the frame. This is where it requires, I'd say three people because you really gotta have someone hold the doors on the edge. We're gonna get it in place. So we're basically lining this up. You don't, what you don't want to do is rivet this in and then all of a sudden they let go. So what I like to do is this is lined up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this pin, okay? Just remember that this, if you pull this, don't get them swapped. That's why I do one at a time. This can get riveted on the door now. Because if you don't, and you try to rivet it like this, it's too hard to do holding that. So we're actually gonna pull this up. Go ahead and move the door frame out of the way. I have it. And this is gonna get put in position. So let me grab my tools back here. Okay, so what we're doing is basically just putting the rivets into place. I'm just gonna get my, I gotta clean up my hole. Okay, so everything's in place. Now remember, don't forget to put your bracket in for your bungee that holds the door pin in place. Otherwise you're gonna have to drill that out and put that in later. Um, and also you want it facing forward because the pin's going to be going through like this, through the hinge, so that your bungee will go from here to here. So front of the door, back of the door, always. So now what we're going to do is take that one please back that way. So I'm going to come on this side pointing the door towards you. So what we're gonna do is put the washer on here. Well, that's it. Well, let's do that, that one, that second one. What one are you on? Yep, ready? One, two, three. How does that look? Perfect, so what we'll do at the end is we'll just file this down just a little bit. Ready? Yep. 
Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? position. Now what I'll do is I'll tape this off and I'll file these down a little bit so they're just a little more smooth. That way the, the washer and everything would be under be recessed so you're not filing into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you do it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape around this here because what we're gonna do is file that down a little bit and of course we don't want the file to touch the door so we're just gonna try to do our best to just tape it up and it's, it's a time-consuming process you know you could go deeper in the door I don't like going too deep because I like I like having a lot of meat left and not worrying about anything so you know for me I like to do it this way but it's all up to the builder that's what makes it unique is you're the builder you can do it and of course how they say anybody can do it Okay, so now we're back. I'm gonna have two people hold the door because you don't want it to move on you. So basically, So what I'm showing you is, unfortunately, this is the stuff that doesn't show in the manual. Um, it's stuff that I've known over the years to do, uh, because as you see in the manual for this section here, it just says basically, assemble door to door frame shown in figure 118. Well, if you just do it like they say, your rivets are gonna stick out like this, and then you're gonna hang it on your door and it's gonna scratch up your door frame, and then the door doesn't shut right. Um, so these are just a little bit of the tips and tricks that I do, um, hoping that someone out there might be able to do the same thing. So. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off the tape. So that's all coming off. And it's nice to have a little bit of touch up because you can see I ground just a little bit there. But uh, basically we're peeling it all off. Just like that, nice and smooth. So, we're gonna get the door frame again. And we're gonna fit it all in there. Bill, if you wanna go on that side. This side's pretty much done. So, Penny, come on this side.
pull it away. <laughs> nope. Oh. Next one. Pink. Grab a rivet so we can throw it, hold it in there to hold it in position. And on to the next. And it's also best to watch your fingers before you drill. No. That was pretty convincing, actually. So now I got my holes drilled. So now what I'm going to do is grab my bigger bit and come back and countersink these over here a little bit. So then I can do the same thing down here. joke about the vacuuming but otherwise it will scratch up your plexi or your oh yeah by the way sometimes the rivets don't fit through the metal so yep yep got it okay same thing Boom, 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 boom. by hand um, you can find different machines out there but I'm gonna put a shout out to Milwaukee because this is amazing and I find that it's the only one that I find that works that works great so shout out to Milwaukee Get it to do it. If you go ahead and do it together there. I think that would be poetic.
frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the door in here. Now there is a gap here that goes around this tube. So pull forward, Bill. So what I mean around the tube is this right here, this channel, see the big channel? Goes around this. You do sometimes have to notch out here for around here, but you also have to notch out the bottom inside for around here. So right now we're gonna fit it and see what I need to cut there first because that's gonna be my first part of where I do the cuts. So we're gonna bring it in slowly. And up as far as possible. So I do need to cut. About an inch and a half. So, yes. So we're gonna pull it down. Hang on, we're stuck on the strut. And where I mean we have to cut is this angle right here, we need to cut some more. I'm gonna cut straight across here, just so we can clear this, this bracket. Handy dandy Dremel. So here's that channel going around it and up. There we go. Now we're inside. Maybe. Drop it down. There we go. There we go. Okay. You set your side. Can we come back towards me a little? Okay, so here, open the door a little bit. Take your finger and run it around the edge so it's like, makes a, or here. You wanna do one step further? Here you go. Take the marker, I got the door. And run that edge so you can see where the edge is. So you wanna be inside that edge. So that edge should be showing a little bit. Do it up on top up there too for you so you can see that. So set it where you like up front and then I'm gonna set mine back here to see where I like. I like that. You like that? I like it just like that. Um, basically what we're trying to do is get equal gap all the way around the door. Back here, I know I'm off because this is still loose. I can manipulate this piece here once I'm in position. So once they're in position that they like it, I'm going to move this forward like this. So that's gonna be my, my door fit right there. So you can see I need to trim here. So the back side of this main fairing is gonna get trimmed all the way down. Then I can trim this piece here to go across to fit that bracket inside. I'm going to take that straight down. That one there. Okay, so now open it up. 
this is where it's a lot of on and off with the door. So I'll take it down. Hang on, not too far. Fingers there. You got the frame? Okay. You got the door? I got the door. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to take and cut this and cut that down and cut this and then we should be good. What Jeremy will attempt to do next is, and this was uh, a factory built aircraft um, in South Africa where what Jeremy's trying to avoid is the fiberglass to stick beyond this. So he's trying to attempt to line it up perfectly so that it's one straight cut to avoid this section sticking out. Uh, you got to be careful when you cut because you don't want to cut any tubing. You don't want to gouge any metal bracketry and stuff like that. So um, we're going to do a slow process, a slow cut, and then I'm going to have to switch blades to more of a Dremel drill, butt, drill bit cutter to cut the rest of it. So here we go. Sorry, I like things perfect. So, okay, that's that. Okay, next, re refit the door again. I just want to double check this. I had it marked. Just setting this. Can't talk with a marker in my mouth. So I'm just setting this up. I already had my line back here, so I know I'm on that line. But this is going to fit in here. So these little beveled edges sit in these contour spots, and that's what I'm trying to do is get this to sit flush. So what I want to do is basically come across there because. Gonna sit back like that. Let's go in there to here. So that line from there to here, I'm gonna cut off, and then I'll do my notch. Okay, so take it back out, Bill. Cutting wheel.
and we refit. We made that cut in the back, we put the door jam back in, and now it's a nice straight line. So now I made this little notch because I wanna cut this piece out so this sits flush with the main frame. So now then, once that's cut, this will pop right in there and complete the gap that right there, and it's gonna make a nice little fit. So as you'll see in a couple seconds. Feel it, Tom. Don't say that. It's going to be no. on the video. <laughs> Start over. I know you don't be silly right. either. Go. So we fit this all back in. Comes down and fits all nice right there. So what we're going to do is now we're going to test it with this because this is going to go like that. And look at that. This will get rivet, 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 rivet. And then remember, when you're done, this gets a weather seal around here. So you're not going to see that but it fits nice and smooth. Okay, so as you see, you see the little steps of putting the door frame and the door together uh, to make it work as one. Um, it is time consuming. Uh, plan on, I plan on a door and door frame a day. So that's two days. Um, so you know, you started with the back corner, work your way around and get it to fit and finish just nice. Don't forget your two-sided sticky tape. Um, if you don't, if you want to add that, uh, you can. I extend my rubber piece a little further to make that seal down there. So that seal is over. So now when I shut the door, comes down, comes into place, voila. Nice seal, look at that. That's with no door lock installed as you see that seal coming down. So there's really no gap, not hard, doesn't pull in tight. You're not pulling in really hard on the door frame to get the door to shut. It's all nice and tight and finished and sealed. Um, you do have to do a couple little bit of filing sometimes to make your door latch go all the way forward. That's not uncommon. So, you know, if you have to file a little bit, file a little bit. And then when you're all done with the whole thing, you will install the door lock 
And then don't forget to install your bungee for the hinge pins. Thank you. So I have it cut here perfectly straight and then I have it notched out to fit here so when this plate comes in there's meat for there to here, here, it fits perfect back here. So I always start here, work my way up and around and down. Okay, so now I got this riveted in, nice, flush, even, coming up. It's all looking good, we come forward. Now we're gonna put the door back on. We're gonna set our, our, um, our lines there. I'm gonna go inside and mark the inside so we can notch that out to make that sit flush. Once that sits flush, we'll double check everything and then I can do my riveting down the side. So now we're working on getting this fit in here. We had the door on and we what we did is we notched out come on this side. This back side here to fit around this rod so the rod can sit in here nicely. So we'll make that cut and then go from there. You can cut your rubber back here, but I like to have that seal all the way back. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to make it so that my door frame fits in this bottom lip all the way back. Okay, ready? Eye protection is a must. So we drilled the holes, we pulled it back out because we want to clean it off. We also want to remove the film here now a little bit. So you can remove that other side of the sticky tape. Okay, so I removed the other piece, the other side of that. Now, one part. Because you want to make sure you get the hole lined up without the tape sticking first. Okay, so let's 
So now we're gonna pull rivets. Just like that. We're good there, but we wanna make sure that that is up against the jam there and you have your equal distance. So we're gonna put this in place. To put this in place, slide it in. This notch has to go between those bars up there. And it sits up like so, like that. And then this gets pushed back, which then when you drill and rivet, it'll seal that gap all the way down nice and easy. gaps all the way around you can see there's no gap here with I don't even have a lock installed and you can see how nice and flush that is all the way down all the way around so next we'll be putting in the door latches and the locks and getting the windscreen all down that's it now that I'm done with the door I'm gonna put up the actual fairing up here and I leave the plastic up so you don't want to scratch your windscreen to make it fit. But basically you're fitting it in position like so, okay? So basically just like that. Now you can see there's overlap. So you're going to take that measurement and go from here to nothing. So from here to nothing. So. Mm -hmm. And then you'll put it back up, rivet. You're gonna do your two rivets, and then do your rivet on the windscreen. 